in any town or city, in any country, go to any war memorial statue or plaque, and look at the names written. Look down each of the lists until you find a name hidden by dirt or dust. Trust your senses. If you do, it will be easier to find. Brush this dirt away to reveal red letters underneath and look at the name. Memorize it. Go to a florist and purchase a single black rose, saying nothing more than you have to. After the flower has been wrapped for you, take the florist's scissors and cut the heads off every other rose. In the shop, ignoring anything the assistant may do or say, then leave the shop with the rose. Head into the countryside by any means necessary and pick a stalk of hemlock when you can. Make sure to keep this in your right hand and hold the rose in your left walk into a field. It does not matter what is growing there as long as there is no animal life. As you walk forward your mind will fill with images of war, death and fighting. It will show everything from family arguments to the famous battles. Do you no know, try to comprehend them, it may drive you insane. Once you reach the center of the field, sit down on your knees and place the black rose in front of you, whispering the words. In memory of, finish with the name from the memorial plaque. If you fail to remember the name, or you were holding the flowers in the wrong hands, then you will feel vines ensnare you. They will drag you into the soul beneath. You will choke on it and you will, will feel yourself. Being ripped apart by the plants, you will feel yourself dying slowly, remaining conscious for all time. If, however, you whispered the correct name, then the rose will rise up opening a doorway beneath. Enter it, but do not look around. Surrounding you is endless carnage, plants and animals dying, people being killed, buildings torn down and burned, nature itself crumbling into destruction. To look at any one of these would be to become part of them. You will see a man standing in the distance. Approach him slowly. Remain silent. You should respect death. He will turn and look at you. You must look into his eyes and you will see yourself in the florist. You will hear the scream from each flower as you cut off the head. He will then show you every time you have caused pain, carnage or death to any creatures, plant life or people. This drives many people insane. But if you should find yourself able to endure it, then he will blink, holding his hand out for the hemlock. Do not give it to him. Instead, tear off the flowers and say, you will not be the death of me. The man will scream and pluck a black rose from one of the scenes beside you. He will thrust it towards you and a thorn will feel like it is penetrating your heart. You will collapse. Waking up later in front of the memorial plaque, look at it and you will see that the name you used before is once again covered with dirt. Wipe it away and that section of the plaque will come loose in your hand. This is object 168 of 538. Don't forget that the greatest damage can be caused by the smallest action.